you. Like I've done it for the first couple times and stuff, you know, like this is what we expect. The same questions are asked every chat, which a lot of them I think back up because they're like, well, I don't know what they need or, you know, medication wise. And I'm like, well, I still don't always know, like I have to ask Amanda or whatever. So that shouldn't stop you from still asking and saying, you know, we'll figure it out. So I think that's helped us a lot because like Amanda will just say, go tag your new people in the week one video. So then everything they need is right there. It's not like they have to remember it. So, so like what's like in your videos? Um, week one is um, being consistent in communication because Amanda did the welcome video. And then I have a list here if I can find it. Week three is detox. Um, week four is the subscription, earn the perks. 100 PV, 60 to 90 days commitment. And then we're going to do one on how to um, upgrade from the VIP, how to share, how to go silver, just like simple things that we're not constantly having to text every single person. And I think it's easier to see somebody explaining it as to reading my text. Yeah, and these are videos that I want to like create too, like not just not just for me, but like for everybody to use too. Um, and I just want I want videos too for um, like silvers. So not only like getting them started like on their products and like things like that, but I'd like to extend the video series into you've made a post. Now what do I do? Right. Right. Like you've messaged five people. Now what do I do? Like, I want to host a wellness chat. What do I need to do? Like those types of things that way, like we're guiding them, but they've also got resources at their fingertips to help. Yeah. Having all those videos in rise up would be nice. Maybe a That's different leader. And then they're in there and then we can always go and tag our new people in it for certain videos. Yeah. That's why I think I might also almost prefer them like in a YouTube to like send them individually. That's what we were I talking feel like about. I, I'm torn onto whether people will watch them more if they're sent to them personally or if they're just tagged. Cause I feel like a lot of people ignore the stuff that they're tagged in. Even yeah. if you say, Hey, I tagged you in this for right. this reason. Right. They're like, Oh, I'm tagged in crap in that page all the time. We can <laughs> yeah. do both. Don't we? Well, Andrea yeah. and I talked about making like, just like a rise up village, like, like a team YouTube channel. That way it's like a team channel. And then it's like, we upload welcome videos. We upload silver videos. And then you guys have like the, like resources, like it's, and it's all there, like in the YouTube channel. There's like a that. YouTube channel. I forget whose team it is, but it's called like the Grow Collective. Um, I hear Allie. Um, and they have a lot of stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Andrew and I have been like, we've been brainstorming back and forth for like three or four days, like just back and forth, like constant, just trying to figure out ways to make things more clear and more concise, but also more simple. So it's more duplicatable through all the levels, right? Like I want my level ones and my level tens doing the same thing, because if not, it's like, oh, well, Lisa's team's doing this and Emily's team's doing this. And then I've got Jody's team doing that. And Leslie's team doing this and then I'm up here like I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to be doing or what I'm supposed to be a part of and so I feel like if we can just like like somebody said last night like all row in the same direction and just like all get on like board together I think it'll help like just so so much and it'll help our duplication and our retention um so I definitely, I want to work on the video series. I love that like idea. And I've talked about it forever and just never done it. <laughs> it's like, I think everybody should make their own welcome video and stuff like as a team, you know, like a man, a painter wouldn't want to send my video to her people. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Because then it's like, I'm in the chat with them. So when they see my face, they're like, oh, that's Lisa, you know, right. like it's more somebody they can relate to or put a face to a name. Yeah. And I think it's too, a little bit different. Like if it was like me sending the welcome video, cause then it's kind of like, oh, that's cause I'm everybody's upline, you know, like that's Brie and I, at some point she's probably going to message you like Emily said earlier. So <clears throat> what I think 
we can do is just get like topics, what you all would like to see in videos. And then I think if we can like move in that direction and like start with like main, main ideas, like silvers, like in like get it down to a science that way, what's in the videos, everybody is doing the same thing. Um, so anybody else, like, go ahead. Anybody else? I like that idea a lot. Mm -hmm. I like the YouTube idea, but I also like being able to have it in Rise Up too, just because if you have someone who's new and they go into Rise Up and they're one of those people that just want to take it all in, it's like all right there for them, you know? Well, and we could have like, um, like in the guides or whatever, we could have the link to like the team YouTube or whatever, and then they could go like dive in. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what Andrea was saying last night on the team call. She wants to go into the Rise Up team page and like clean that up because it's very like, oh, well, here's a follow up. Here's a follow up. Here's a follow up. Which one do I use? Right. Like which one? And it know? gets overwhelming. If I'm new and I've only got one person and you're like, here, here's all these steps you need to do. Right. I'm like, forget this crap. Right. <laughs> but in right. a video that's two minutes long and you're like, hey, all you're doing is messaging your friends. Start a chat with me. Like it's a lot more doable. Amen. So. Yes. That's what I, and that's what I'm saying too. Like we have to remember these, I keep calling them plexus babies. Like they're plexus babies crawling around and you can't expect them to start running, right? If you've not taught them how to crawl and walk first. So yeah, they may take off quickly, but you've still got to guide them in the right way. Just a thought. Just baby steps, simple baby steps. What else are you all doing to like develop the silvers? I feel like this discussion will help everybody. One thing I'm doing is I'm starting early. Yes, a lot of people don't want to and post or anything, but I've been doing wellness chats for just more than one person. So like right now I've got one tomorrow evening and it's for all of my new people that signed up last month. I said, okay, if you don't feel comfortable sharing, why don't you invite these friends and family? Because then they're going to get the information from me and you aren't the one that has to tell them about it a lot of people have been really receptive to, oh yeah, I don't care to invite to that. And then they've told me that they've loved them. It's been 15 minutes. It's short, very informative. And I've gotten several, I get several signups for mine. Um, so I've been doing that. And I always, once people tell me that they do want to share, you know, I do the post and then I always make everybody tell me they make a list of 10 to 20 people that they think they could invite. So they have it done. And then I give us said, once you get that list done, send me a copy and then I'll send you a message and we can do three people a day. So I have them start sending messages. That's pretty much. And the ones that I've had have been excited and wanted to do that. So I know not everybody does, but that's just been working on my end. That's kind of what I'm doing too. Like I'm just mentioning it like, like with the text that I sent you all last night, the screenshot, um, like I'm just mentioning it like in normal casual conversation, like, Hey, like you, we have the opportunity to like, you have a referral link, you can earn like $400 this month. Like, is that something that you would be open to or interested in? Like my goal is for you not to have to worry about paying for your products each month. And so like just having that discussion, like you said early, like as soon as like they're signed up, like I'm having that discussion. Um, and so I just feel like I give too much information at once. So I was like having Andrea kind of like guide me through that. And so that way I can like, I can take what she says and then make it mine. And it kind of teaches me how to like find my own groove. You know what I'm saying? So I do that a lot. Um, like I'll send her a message and I'll be like, okay, this is what I'm saying. Like, help me fix it. Like, and I don't want you all to think that you ever can't do that with me or Emily or Dodi or whoever, right? Like you all can send us a message and be like, I'm not sure like this is what I'm trying to say. And it may not be coming out like I want it to, or help me tweak some words to make it sound better. So we do that a lot. I think a lot of the times, and I remember back when I first started, 
I try to think that my, my messages need to be this all proper message, or there's a certain way that I have to say it. Well, that certain way is not how I talk. So that should not be the way that I say it. Like if it comes out, if I'm as country as countries can be, then that's how I should be talking to him. Just point blank. Hey, this is how you do it. And I don't know. And I still like my voice messages. <laughs> Always look at Stover for that. <laughs> but I still do because so many people take my my wording wrong. And I don't know what it, what I do that makes it sound like I'm being mean or hateful. So I would just rather send a voice message so they know I'm not being mean. And I know I, I just care about them. So oh. I'm trying Make sure I watch the time and I don't go very long because I hear like Stover in my head. They're just long and she keeps going. <laughs> so I am trying to put a time limit on it. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. And um, like, even like the other day, I text Andrea something and she called me and she was like, so like, we need to work on this. Like what's going on? And I was like, nothing. Like I'm fine. Just sent you a text to talk. And she had like, thought that I was like sitting here like in panic like mode or like upset or whatever and that's just like not what I meant like by that you know um yeah they can be longer than a minute now I did see that the other day um I was like how did she send me a three minute message on messenger (laughs) but um Yes, I was excited over that. I'm like oh so I can send one two minute one instead of four or five and I think that overwhelmed me to <laughs> I'm sorry. um so I just want to help you all feel more comfortable asking for the post asking people if they're open to earning extra income and I also don't want you to be like well, what if I tell her she has to work 15 minutes a day like what if she quits what if that overwhelms her well good bye Felicia because this wasn't for you then right? Like you can't be in that like scarcity mindset. Like you want to find the people that are right for this and to find people that are right for this is going to be weeding out the people who aren't right for this. So, um, you know what I thought of when you said that, like, that's just a thought. Yeah. And so instead of thinking that they have to work for 15 minutes, you say it's only 15 minutes. (laughs) That's yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah, it is quick. I mean, honestly, isn't it, Michelle Palmer? She's like, if she, if you've got time to poop, you've got time to make six figures. <laughs> and they say, and John Maxwell says, you should say you get to, you not have to. Right. You right. get to. You yeah. get to work for fifteen minutes, yeah. and it's only fifteen minutes. Right. Um. But yeah, like like what um, Lisa shared not too long ago. Like, listen, like you've not responded to me in like months. So like your friend's ready, but like, if we're not talking, like I'm not putting her under you, right? Like we're not doing this. Like it's my business. And like, I'm sitting here doing the work. Like I'm going to get compensated for it. Not you. Like, that's just not fair. Like, that's not like how this should work. So, um, I want us to really think I want leaders Like, I want this Zoom to double. Like, that's my goal. Like, that this Zoom of leaders doubles. Because if, okay, go lay down. Daddy's on the couch. You can go talk to him for a minute. I think that if each of us on here could develop another leader, imagine what that would do for your team. Imagine the momentum it would create on your team and the energy and the excitement that it would spark. And I know you guys are already thinking like, I can't do that. I don't even have anybody that wants to work. I don't even have anybody. That's fine. Like, that's fine. I'm not saying it has to be tomorrow. I'm saying I want you to start prospecting higher quality people. Not somebody with those red flags that's like, well, um, is there a 60 day return? Well, um, if I don't have money next month, can I like turn my subscription off? Um, Like, do I have to order the 100 PV every month? Like the siren is going off. Like, don't, don't do it. (laughs) Don't do it. 
don't do it. And just say, listen, like, I understand that you're concerned, like, but this may not be for you, right? If you can't commit to 60 to 90 days at hundred PV, whatever, this just isn't for you. And that's okay for you to say that it's your business. You're in charge. You want high quality people. So I think if we can prospect a little bit like higher, what? Okay, honey, go lay down or go get daddy. Go get daddy. <sighs> We've had belly aches for like two weeks in this house. I don't even know. Like, okay, buddy, hold on a second. Jody, we do, we start talking. start talking <laughs> what do you want to talk about <laughs> um i will say the emily coaching thing is absolutely wonderful you don't have to be in it for a whole year if you just paid for one month and just mm -hmm. done the, the foundational videos it has changed me completely like and i've only done two <laughs> like Amazing. I'm, I'm always, yes and like it's crazy how your mind controls so much of your thoughts and your actions. And once you change your thoughts and your actions, you think positive about everything now. Like, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I've just been completely different this week that I'm trying to like schedule my stuff and my, my joys back. Not that I've actually really, really lost it, but I got my, my mind out of the way. <laughs> so Definitely at least do the one month you can cancel after that, but listen to the foundational, just that in itself, mm -hmm. I think will help you. I agree. I think they're so great. Like I mm -hmm. said, like, like it's the person like today, like Joyce was asking about the evil stepmother and I'm like, well, my stepmom's kind of evil. Like I kind of went ahead and listened to it because like, I was like, maybe this will help me. Like, <laughs> I just went ahead and listened to it. But honestly, yeah. I think. Um, if you go on the website and you click the three tabs at the top and there's like, um, a list, I think that you can go through and yeah, there's content in it. Well, on the computer, yeah, it should yeah, like, under content, content and it's the yeah. first four that's yeah. at the top. Yeah. Um, so what I would like you for you guys workshop tomorrow, sorry, no, you're fine. <laughs> you're like a geek. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's good stuff. I'm just glad you all see like what I'm always like so excited about. <laughs> you guys really One thing I like playing. about her is that no matter what it is, right. like a lot of people keep saying the niche, the niche, the niche. And she, they said, well, I hate to say, she said, don't ever worry about that. You know, everybody's different. So I don't care if you have to come, if 500 people come to me and it, I, I, I'm just, she's just, no matter what you bring to her, it's never too big or too little. And I just think that's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it even applies to your personal life. It's just yeah. not even Lexus. This applies to like mm -hmm. yes. every thought that comes into your mind, mm -hmm. how bad we could either go negative or we can go positive. Mm -hmm. And we don't even realize some of my thoughts, I didn't realize were negative until I'm like thinking about them now. And I'm like, well, that thought because this, and I don't know. Well, they were talking about the stepmom yesterday, and Emily kept asking the daughter, "Well, you know that the stepmom's just going on about her life. It's not, it's not bothering her at all. She's not worried about it. It's not stressing her out. She's just going on about why are you letting her? Why are you letting the thoughts of her Back make you. you like this?" And I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so good. You know what I mean?" Because the people yeah. that upset us don't even, they don't think twice about it. They just go about their way. And then here we are stewing and running our whole day. It's just like, and I watched that Emily Roberts, the one from what, four years ago. And she said, and, and I keep going back to this, what someone else thinks about you is none of your business. <laughs> what someone else thinks about you is none of your business. So let them think it. And so evidently, if they're thinking something about you, you've done something that got under their skin or they're wanting to be more like you. So, mm -hmm. so that, you know, I mean, then that goes along with what Emily, uh, Emily Gibson says, you know, don't let them, what they're thinking, worry you or whatever. So, Yeah, it's so true. And then it's, 
what I was reading yesterday is just like those negative thoughts turn into beliefs because it's constant, constant negative thought, constant. I'm not good enough, constant. I'm not a good leader. Look, my points fell. Look, I can't sign a business builder. And you start believing this stuff. And then it's like, you've got to rewire completely. Um, okay. So what I want to do really quick is I want to hear who you want to work with this month. Who are you focusing on? I don't care if it's one person, two people, three people, like who has the potential on your team to go silver? I don't care if it's fast start or not. Who on your team are you trying to help like guide to silver, to senior silver? If you got somebody silver last month, your goal this month better to be get them to senior silver, right? So like you're always adding on to their belief and to their vision. Um, so who has somebody? I would love to hear. I'll go. I'm like chatty tap Kathy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this girl don't come often. So <laughs> take notes. <laughs> Enjoy her while she's here. I'm going to work with Sheila McFarland. She went silver. Um, she wants to go senior silver. So we're going to work for that. So we've already mapped it out. And even my Michelle Torman, she went silver last month. I'm going to make her senior silver. And even, um, Ashley Rhodes is wanting to work. So we're going to work on that. She just went silver last, last month, the month before last, mm -hmm. and she just kept silver, but she like wants to do it, but I haven't gotten her. So I'm going to give her this month. We're going to see if she sticks with it. And we're, so that's my. Do the Zoom, set the expectations. Yes. Well, she's already going to sign her mom. Like we're talking to her and her mom's already got a friend. Good. So. And that's exactly what you want. Yes. Planting those seeds of continuing. Right. Yeah. And then Amy Craig, I was another one. She's one that wants to do it, you know, same thing, but Michelle's under her. So I said, Michelle's been on the zoom. Mm -hmm. Michelle has been coming to this. Are you wanting to do this or not? You only got four more people to add and you will rank up, but I'm not doing this for you. Right. So she did post, but that's, you know, mm -hmm. I gave her the things to do. We'll see. Yeah. But anyway, who I'm working with. Yeah. Zooms and set expectations. And I would do it ASAP. Okay. Do you want to go next? I'll go. Okay. Um, I've got Rebecca. She is already put me in another conversation. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we're she's ready to go. She says she wanted three more people this month, but I did show her, you know, income potential and right. you know, ranks. What were her points last month? Uh, 18. Oh, so she just went silver. That was it. She went silver. Yeah. She had one under her for a long time. Um, and actually he's sharing too. Okay. Not like he just kind of talking to people and he'll put me in a conversation here and there. And I actually got somebody who um, might get ready to sign up if she'll talk to me more. But anyway, um, so she's got somebody under her who's also sharing. So I told her, you know, like kind of explaining to her how that works once she got her three, then see now everybody that they also sign up. So I talked to her about a wellness chat mm -hmm. and putting the people that she signed up also in that chat so they right. can invite to it too. And right. we'll see how that goes. Yeah, for sure. I would do the same thing. Get her on a Zoom, set the expectations. Because I feel like if you're not going to do the Zooms with them and be their leader, then you can't get mad when you're doing all the things for them or they're not doing things that you want them to do she's taking charge i mean she's tagging everybody and rise up she's inviting them to the right thing the welcome zoom we just had she's like in there checking did you get your products yet she's like really doing good i'm super proud of her awesome i love that yeah, I told her about, you know, just like in conversations, make sure that like just copy, like what, because the conversations that you have, you see, I ask the same questions in every conversation. So just copy that wording, make it your own if you need to. But, you know, she's, she's doing that. She's like, 
she'll put me in a conversation. She says, well, we've already asked them about all their digestion and all this stuff. And these are her problems. So this is what you need to talk to her about. So she's doing good. Perfect. All right. So senior silver for Rebecca. All right. Next. Oh my goodness. Where's I'll go. Thank okay. you. <laughs> go ahead, Erin. You're at work. Okay. So, no, I'm not. I'm finally home. Oh, are you? Okay. For once. Yeah. So I signed up two new people at the end of last month and they have both shared already before they even got their products. So I'm hoping to get them some people signed up and one girl was going to sign up last week, but her car heater broke. Oh no. So she's tight for money. So I've sent her the graphic and she's already got somebody else interested. Perfect. So she, Wednesday she's going to sign up and I'm going to get her sharing. Perfect. So does Amanda have these names of these people? Amanda's in two of the chats, but I haven't gotten a chance to talk to her. She's been at work. Okay. If she's not at work, I'm at work. So, okay. I just want them to be able to hold you accountable for that. If right. you want to send me the names of the girls that are sharing, I can make sure to send them a message and okay. just talk to them. I will. Okay. Perfect. Ready? Um, Heather? She's only on day two and loving it. Going to get her fast start silver. And Jesse and Amy both went silver last month. Jesse was fast start silver. So I'm going to work on getting her to senior silver and Amy sharing now too. And we have a group um, 15 minute messenger event going on that they're all inviting to. Cindy's got girls in there that's inviting. So. And then I'll let Cindy tell you her people, but I got her people too. Okay. <laughs> so did Amy go so Amy was the other one that went silver last month too? Yeah. Okay. So working on those two senior sellers. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I have six that I'm working on getting to silver. Anne, Buffy, Velvy, Amber. Virgil and Jessica. Okay, so I got Amber, Virgil, Jessica, Buffy. I feel like I'm missing one. Anne. Anne. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Velvy. Velvy. Okay. No, did any of them go silver last month? No, I didn't have anyone do anything like that. Okay. Who was the one who added some last month? Vir Virgil has Virgil two. added two. Okay. And he's still a fast start. So he just needs one for silver, right? Correct. Okay. And the two that he enrolled <clears throat> are loving it. They're husband and wife and they're loving it. Perfect. So I'm working on them. The Amber that I gave you, that's one of his. So I'm working okay. on her too. Okay. She's willing to share. She just has the same crap you just got over. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That it's obviously is circling back around again. I don't even know. It's an epidemic. It's everywhere. I mean, it's like constant. Like, how is this back again? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Perfect. Now, um, and I'm not meaning to put like you on the spot. And I know Lisa and them help you really well too. Do you feel confident in like what you all are doing to like move them to silver? Yeah, it's just getting them to move. Yeah. I mean, we supply. It's just. Yeah, for sure. Have you thought, asked them about doing a wellness, like tell them you were hosting a wellness event? Would they invite to that? Yeah, we are. And they are. Yes. Okay. We're doing one next Thursday and they, they already are inviting. Yes. Perfect. So with those like wellness chats and stuff, like just like Andrea said, just rinse, wash and repeat. You know what I'm saying? Like 
Cause that's what she went to Burke Hemingway, like personally and was like, listen, I had a girl that did a wellness chat. She's posting, she's messaging, she signed people up. Like, what do you do now? And she was like, do it again. Like do it again, Mm -hmm. have her message 10 more people for a wellness chat, you know, and just start over. So I think sometimes like it's almost so simple. Like we overthink it. <laughs> like, like, oh my gosh, we've already had a wellness chat. What do we do now? Like, what do we do now? So well, I'll be honest. I forgot about them because it's like, we're so busy I know. in a zoom every night, the book study and trying yeah. to get people silver. You don't have time to be like, oh, let's get everybody together. You know what I mean? Like you're just thrown everywhere. So it's hard. Yeah. That's why we're just doing like a big one. And yeah. she's inviting her people. I'm inviting my people. And just do it like that. If we have to do one every two weeks or something. Yeah. Yeah. I have have the template saved in the notes on my phone. And so like, I just um, like how you can share it to like a messenger like thing. And that's what I do. I'm just like, and send it. (laughs) Um, And that helps a lot. And I schedule mine a lot at like eight. That way it's like, um, like before I'm getting the kids in bed, before it's like too crazy in the evenings. And then it's just like 15 minutes, like really quick. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So, well, I think that's perfect. All right. Who's next? I'll go. Um, but I don't have any names right now. So my goal is to do better at encouraging the business this month. For anybody who signs up and people who are already taking the products, because I haven't been good at talking about the business period. So I think that's where I need to start is talking to everybody right off the bat about business and going back and starting with the business and not being afraid. Because I'm always really afraid of scaring them away. So why do you feel like you're scared of like scaring them away? Oh, like, because I was the scared away person. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am. That's right. See, so, I'm also an example of that. Yeah. So um, your personality. Yeah. Huh? I huh? love your personality. <laughs> <laughs> so um, do you feel like, you know, like since you want to start encouraging them to like share and like, and you want to start talking about the business more, do you feel comfortable starting doing that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't. So I'm going to go to Emily and I'm going to say, Hey, I'm going to share the business with this person, write me a message, and then I'll do it the next time. <laughs> well, so, and Emily that's... can help you the first few times, but I want it to come from you. Right. <laughs> Yeah, she'll say, well, what do you think you should say? And then I'll tell her and she'll say, that sounds good or just add this. Yeah, yeah, seriously. (laughs) And that's what, I mean, that's what she's telling me in the chats. You know what I want to say to you? Well, and that's why, like, I invited Andrea on here tonight so she could be a part of our little chit chat because I told her how great these have been. And so she wanted to come check them out and see how things, you know, were like going and stuff. So that's what I do with her. Like I told you earlier, like I'll send her what I want to say and I'm like, help me fix it. So like, I can like, not like sometimes just your words just don't come out right. And when you're the one overthinking it and you're the one that personally knows that person, like you're more like holding back. You're not so like upfront, you're not so bold. And then when Andrew doesn't know my friend, she's like, Hey, yo, you want to make $300? You know, it's a lot simpler for her to say that because she doesn't know that person. So I think that helps too. Um, I've talked to some, I've kind of thrown in there where they'll be like, well, I think it's too expensive. I'm like, grab three friends and it's not expensive at all. Right. You know, it'll get your products paid for. That's about as far as my business talk has went. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, Jody, I wouldn't say like business because like going silver is not a business. Like it's literally just getting your products paid for, you know, it's just referring friends using their referral link. And that's what I say. Like, I'm just using your link. You're going to earn commission. It's going to be enough to help you pay for products. Like I'll help you follow up. I'll help you take care of them. But like when they want more, that's when I'm talking about these Zooms that are setting expectations and getting clear on what you expect from them, that's when it moves past that. 
right? right? Because some people are happy at silver. They're like, that's totally fine. I don't want more. But like some people, when you start loving on them and they start getting a part of the community and they see that check, they're like, okay, okay, maybe I do want this. Maybe I do want more, right? So I think what, like how I, we were talking Sunday, like with the um, feedback from your, your Google form, Mm -hmm. I think like just watching YouTube videos, like get good on how people talk about the opportunity. How do people ask for the post? How do people talk about the referral link? Right. Like find those things. Um, Like Christina Williams and Brittany Howard and Jordan Roddenberry. Those are girls who are amazing at that. Yeah. I've been watching a few Jordan Roddenberry YouTubes. She's great. I love her her Facebook posts. So I feel like she gets me. She's very, I I guess. (laughs) She's very relatable. Andrea, do you have anything to add on that? Um, Hey guys, I actually just got off of Zoom and talking about this exact same thing, Um, actually helping a girl. But one of the things I suggested, so how many of you guys have people that you've gotten to silver and they're not wanting to go past silver or you're the one that's doing the follow-ups with those people? Okay, so this is like, this girl is like, almost Ruby and has like 375 points and she does all of the follow-ups and I'm like, okay, we can't have this like this. We need to have some tough conversations. And so what I was telling her is like, you know, when someone, when she signs someone up, get on the phone with them, she's really great at ask, obviously like asking for the shout out and then moving them to silver Um, and I told her, I said, you know, what you can do is when you get on the phone with them to sign them up, she's solid in asking for the shout out and saying, Hey, do you want to, you know, earn 300 bucks to cover your products, the referral bonus, whatever she shows them like what's available this month and it works for her. And so I told her, I said, you know, when you're on the phone with them, you're going to say, okay, here's how you, here's how you're going to do it. You're going to make a post. You can send me three things. I can write it up and you're going to have friends comment most likely, when your friends comment, put me, we all know this, put me in a three-way. And then if someone does decide, decide to sign up, I will be there to help you follow up with them until you get comfortable. And then I told her this, I told her, I said, you want to say that because you can either say, okay, if they're like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Then you can go ahead and kind of see where you're going to be going with that after they get three people. And so after they get three people, what I told her to tell, tell them, I said, now you move into, Hey, listen, you know, when people usually get three people and they see this bonus, that's just 300, depending on like what it is. I mean, sometimes some months they can make 300, some months they can make 500. Um, you know, either they want to continue helping more friends or they're just, they're fine being helping, um, you know, those three friends and then making that bigger bonus. And then you'll probably make around like, you know, 200 bucks or whatever. Um, do you want to, do you want to go for the next referral bonus rank level, whatever you want to call it. And then that's when you set that expectation, like, okay, great. So to get to, uh, to senior silver, this is what I'm going to, you know, this is what I'm going to need from you. What are some hesitations you have around that? Like, what are, what are any hesitations that you're feeling right now? And that is one of the things that she didn't do is ask, what are their hesitations? Like what possible fears do they have about moving forward? That way, if it's a simple, I'm just so nervous about what people think of me, she could be like the, use the feel felt found method and say, girl, I was the same way. I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way, but my friend Brianna helped me so much move past that just by sharing her story. And, and then that's when you can go grab like a video or something like a short little video or some, something like that. And then move them past those, you know, hesitations. And so if that's the only thing that's going to be holding them back, like that's easy to work with. And so that's where she was feeling like she was getting stuck. She was like, I wasn't asking those questions. I wasn't getting on the phone and setting those expectations after like, or, or asking, like, she's like, I just assumed that, I mean, she's got people to gold on her own. Like they're, they're literally, like, she's doing all of this. And I'm like, no conversations are being had. Like, you're not even asking these people, Hey, what do you want to do next? Do you want to move forward? Instead of just kind of washing and repeating and getting them the three more people setting that expectation. Like, Hey, usually when people get three people and they want to move forward, 
you know, this is when we kind of move into you following up. And it's, and I always told, I always tell people that when I sign them up, like your friends want you to follow up with them, right? Like they know you and they're going to be more comfortable with you following up, but I will be in that three-way to guide you until you feel comfortable. And so anyways, I don't know if you guys are having those conversations and you're asking like, you know, once they go silver or even in the beginning, like if someone's like, I don't know if I want to post, you can ask, you can still ask those questions. Like, you know, what are you fearful of? Is it, you know, people judging you? Like, you know, just like the regular things, like what people would think about them. Um, you know, the fear of messaging, the fear of, you know, looking like they haven't had a testimony, just trying to uncover and just ask a ton of questions. I feel like we get so much further. And so that was like, and that's one thing that I even asked Jordan Roddenberry. I'm like, okay, so you're like a silver queen. Like, what is it? And she gave me like her whole entire formula. And it's literally just the same things. It's just asking questions. And she's like, when I get those hesitations, I go look for a video or I connect them with someone, even if they just want to go silver. Like, and then obviously if they want to go past that, then we talk about like, Hey, you need to sit down for 30 minutes, three days a week to, to get to the next goal. And like, you have to have open communication with me. Don't ghost me like those types of things. And just being really honest. And I think that would clear out the air a lot of times with the guessing game of like, well, they're just not responding to me now, but it's like, okay, we can go back and say, if they stop responding to you, you could be like, Hey, remember when you said you wouldn't ghost me? <laughs> like what you doing girl? Like, where are you at? You know, you can, you can, you can say that you're allowed to say that when you set those expectations. Right. And then that way we don't make assum- assumptions, um, about maybe why they're not, follow- you know, just like we do with people in the product. So that's, that's the only advice I've got. I mean, I feel like our system's really great, good at getting people silver. Um, I think it's just, just asking better questions in the beginning and not being afraid of scaring people away. And here's the thing. If they get scared away by a simple question, then they're, they're not the right fit, right? You don't want someone who's going to be super hesitant all the time, like scared, shaking in their boots, like, and not being willing to actually just talk about what their fears are and help them move forward. Like I have a level one right now that I've literally had to spend six months on helping her get past a ton of hesitations. But if I would have just closed up on her, the moment she like kind of went MIA on me for like three weeks and I've been like, fine, it's whatever. Then she had her biggest month last month, you know, and she's got like three business builders underneath her. And so it's like, just asking those questions. I would be like, Hey girl, you went silent on me. Like I would ask her every week, like, where are you? Are you nervous? Like, and come to find out it's like, something as silly as she gained some weight and she feels like she can't promote plexus. Right. And so I was able to show her all of the people that are really successful at plexus that aren't a pencil. So (laughs) I'm like, you don't have to be super skinny to be successful with plexus. Like that was the thing. I mean, come on. I told her, I was like, listen, you know, so it's just, it's just showing people the vision with that, with little tiny things like that. So don't be afraid, be confident, right? And bring in, like you said, like that was me, but don't project you onto other people because you would, you'll just be, you know, putting that on them when that could be the furthest thing from their brain, right? They could literally be like, no girl, I want this, but you're like, I bet she doesn't want it. And she's like, I, I want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, what's that TikTok? It's like, don't do it, girl. <laughs> it's like, just remember that when like, I did it right. So just don't, don't project that onto them. And just that's where I try to do the changing my thoughts. Like those are my thoughts and I don't have to have them. Yeah. Yeah. And we all have that. We all have those thoughts. We're always, we always let our thoughts like control the narrative sometimes. And it's good to be aware of that and just say, okay, those are just thoughts. That's not, you know, always ask yourself like, what is the best outcome that could happen? Not the worst. Like what is the best possible thing that could happen if I ask someone to share, or if I have this hard conversation, most likely it's, it's 95% of the time, it's probably going to be a positive one, right? If you go about it the right way Mm -hmm. and that 5%, that's okay. Right. And usually when it is that 5% and you don't get the feedback that you had hoped, that just means that you follow up with them you love on them. And then you continue to encourage them to share their little wins along the way. And you never know the 10th follow-up could be the time that they're like, you know what? I really do feel really good. I'm ready to do it. Right. And so just always have that positive kind of switch, even though sometimes it is hard, but most of the time it's just us getting in our own way. Okay. For sure. Um, let's see, Andy, you're up in my screen up there. 
So who are you focusing on? Um, I'm going to try to get Randy to silver. She added one last month. Um, it's just a matter of having her do the work. I mean, I'm sending her posts, um, <clears throat> being encouraging, um, but there's it's not there yet. She's not there yet. Um, I, I think it, a lot of it is belief, so I'm working on that. And the girl that she added, Stacy. Um, has already put up two posts and she's not got her supplements yet. So I'm going to, I think it would be a good idea because they are, they're both friends to do um, a joint wellness chat this month to try to get them both silver. And then the girl that we chatted with, I'm hoping that if this is the right fit for her, that we can get her on board this month as well. Perfect. So let's get Randy and Stacy on a zoom. Okay. Let's get okay. that scheduled like ASAP. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, Joyce. Really, the only one I have working is Heather. <laughs> so, I mean, okay. working with her people. I know that she's she, well, on her map. I'll probably well, can let her explain better, but on her map, she had several that look like they want to add people so if we can get all them on a zoom or in a chat or yeah it would be good all right heather i'll let you go next then and you can help <laughs> didn't mean to put you on the spot heather <laughs> <laughs> no that's okay no i'm just um offering a chat with for everybody just you know dangling that carrot of the 400 dollars out there and you yep. seeing if anybody wants to invite some people to a chat. I think that's great. And I think that's the best way to do it. Like, Hey, this is your option. You have this opportunity. You have the opportunity to make this much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yep. where I'm going to go. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Amanda Stover. Okay. So I had two new level ones last month jessica and destiny okay and they both already posted um sometimes i have a little trouble when they make a post and then not much happens from it even though like i kind of set the expectation i even said i made a post my first time and i didn't get anybody any comments or whatever right. so i kind of need to work with them a little bit and then i have three that i need to do what andrea said and ask them what they want to do and how much time they want to put in. Okay, good. Who are those three people? Um, Megan, Carrie, and Mindy. Okay, that way we know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to them and we're going to see what they're going to do. Yeah, because I'm pretty uh -huh. much doing all of their follow-ups. Okay, so we're going to fix that. Yeah. Okay, and then Jessica and Destiny... So what I do is I always tell people like, it's normal. Like the first time you post, it's probably going to be all plexus people and they're going to be like cheering you on and so excited. Right. But your friends are like side eyeing it. Like what she doing? Like, we can't believe she did that. And then she shares some testimonies and then her products come right. And you share when your products come. So have them post something again. Then I'm like having them reach out to people who have liked the post who are watching their stories, right? Because we're guiding them to put the stories in. So it's the same thing that you do. You're guiding them and you're saying, listen, like it's going to take some time for people to understand what you're doing. And so that's the expectation right there. Like people need the validation. People need the education. And so that's not always fast. And so that takes time. And so it may take a few posts. It may take a few messages. You know, do you think they'll so, like, do you, what do you think about, so they're both starting up pretty much like the same level. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them has signed anybody up yet. Like, could you do a little chat with them two together? And like, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, that's totally up. They to don't you. know each other or anything. Yeah. I mean, I think it's better when it's personal because it's mm -hmm. a smaller group of people like, and it's more, um, intimate you know what I'm saying but I also feel like getting people together like put Jessica and Destiny in a group together and introduce them yeah that's what I meant 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've, they already both are in chats with yeah Jody, but yeah. But what I'm saying is put Jessica and Destiny together. Right. Like, introduce them. Yeah. And let them talk, let them get to know each other. And then they'll have that community and they'll be running partners. Like they'll, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they'll start cheering each out, cheering each other on and they'll build that relationship. That's what but, I was thinking. Like, be like, okay, guys, we're going to do this today. And yeah. then show us in the mm-hmm. chat, like what you did. Mm-hmm. So they can see each other's and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I think for sure. I think that would be great. I I'm think trying. always like introducing people to their sideline sisters that are on that same pace is always good, right? I mean, look at you guys, right? It's mm-hmm. those relationships that keep you here. So keep that in mind. I think that's that's a good idea. Um, Leslie, are you? Did you get the kids down? Finally, yes. Um, so my girl, I mean, my girls that I'm working with are on here because they're amazing. <laughs> but I, and I'm working with then some of their girls, like Andy and I are working with Stacy and Randy. Um, and then I'm working with Candace and then her new one, Amanda, and trying to get her. And then felindy has got a couple that we're kind of putting little feelers and stuff out for as well. Yes. And we're going to get Candace gold this month. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Did you have anybody? Else? I think we can, I honestly think we can get Amanda senior silver. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I mean, she's close. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Um, and so we just did that zoom. So that's good. Um, Felindi. Yes. So this is new for me. Like I haven't had anybody even post or share for probably 10 months, um, no matter how many times I beg. But um, so the one that I signed today has been like messaging back and forth with me since April. Um, And it was, she didn't have the money. Um, Her wedding was coming up and I'm like, well, let's get that paid for. Um, Just always trying to throw that in there because her excuse was always the money. So when I offered that today, like, man, February is awesome with their referrals. So this is what it is. And so she was all in for it. And so she put out a post and um, I haven't paid attention this evening to see how much um, interest she's gotten. But um, so it's all new to me, like the next step. And so I'll be throwing Leslie in a chat with her. And then my cousin who also shared um, has also talked since the beginning, since I started and she's like, oh, it's just too much money. It's just too much money. Um, And I know that money is an issue for her. So that's, I wanted to give this, you know, get her to silver in so she could see that and just to help pay for her products more than the business part for her. For sure. So what are their names? Um, Rita and Rachel. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So let's get them um, in chats with Leslie, if not already, and I'm happy to help. And then um, we'll get them posting and I would schedule wellness chats. That's where I would start. Yeah. Get them posting, get them like when their products come, have them post about their products coming, like do like an unboxing, like something exciting, you know, like you could have them post a selfie guys with like their boxes, like, you know, my new journey starts here. Like, and it can be that simple. It's the box. My journey starts here, right? Like people are like, oh my God, wait in. What's your journey, right? So like create that curiosity in their post, right? So pink drink. Okay. Here goes nothing. Here's day one, right? That's what Genevieve says. Like starting my new health journey. Here goes nothing, right? Somebody says this pink drink's magical. Like, Seriously, like just make it funny, make it curious, like, you know, like make it light. Simple, and starting simple. Yeah, for sure. A hundred percent simple, right? Okay. So we've been on here over an hour, which, well, no, right at an hour because we started late. But um, does anybody else have anything to add about getting the silvers going and like building their team past silver and sharing? 
anything else? No? Addy, Addy, I didn't get Addy. Addy, share. We want to hear from you, Addy. <laughs> um, really don't have anybody work in the business right now. Um, I would like to get back in contact with Diana or Diane, who yeah. is in Japan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's extremely hard to um, I know. get in touch with her because now she's actually working again. Okay. So it makes it even harder. Um, and then Brandy showed interest again. So okay. I'm going to try with her. Okay. But other than that, that's all I got. Okay. So I know like you and Brandy are close. So would it be helpful if like Amanda kind of like guided more of that business side? She has been. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Cause I know sometimes it's like weird telling your best friend, like what to do. <laughs> yeah, it, it, is. it yeah. is very weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that's good. Having her help do that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. And then uh, however, I just got a, um, customer, a retail customer signed up. <laughs> oh, awesome. That's exciting. I went to the dentist today and she's my dentist. <laughs> oh, well, great. Yeah. So. Well, awesome. Well, congratulations. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to come back, isn't it? Um, so Diane, is there any way that you could get like a schedule and then we could like calculate like time difference and maybe like figure something out at least maybe like once a week where we could like have communication with her? Yeah, I, I know that Amanda had messaged her before, and I don't know if she responded or not, but I will reach out to her. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, does anybody else have anything? No? Well, this is exciting. I'm so proud of you guys, and I, like, enjoy this time like with open discussion I know we say that every week it's just nice to get on here and talk and connect but I'm extremely proud of you all and you all show up here with value to add to the team and that is really like appreciative that it's not just one or two people coming on here and like having something to to share so I am definitely proud of you guys for doing that and being vulnerable and real and really stepping your game up, whether you all feel like you are or not, you are like, we see it. Okay. I see you. Okay. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Have a good weekend.